So I will skip, skip some of the slides or uh, only touch upon the major points. AI has a lot of potential. It has the scope to improve access to healthcare, optimize uh, resource allocation. It has the potential to personalize precision approach to medicine, and of course, overall improve the health system in the country. So if we see them in AI being used in, in across many fields, but uh, the applications which we receive as a regulator and the products that are developed and launched in the, in the market. So majority of these AI applications are in these fields of medical imaging for diagnosis, uh, disease production, and uh, medical robotics. We, we are having, uh, we, we receive many applications for uh, robotics, uh, robotic as a medical, robot as a medical device for surgery, and of course telemedicine. And a lot has changed. I mean, the pace of uh, innovation and growth has improved, has, take, has taken pay, uh, gathered pace uh, during the COVID pandemic, and it is continuing now. But still, uh, even though there's a lot of potential, but we have a lot of concerns. Everyone has concerns, patients, uh, healthcare providers, society, regarding the safety of the AI SAMD, whether it is accessible, equitable access is there. Lot of concerns on the uh, privacy and security. And then liability. So when it becomes a product, so what is the liability of the manufacturer or the healthcare provider or, I mean, how the patient uh, uh, looks into that? How, why do we need healthcare, AI in healthcare? So especially India has a large disease burden. So we are the diabetes capital of the world. And uh, if we see, uh, as the uh, population uh, ages, the comorbidities are increasing. On the average, there are at least two comorbidities, chronic diseases for every person, and the low doctor to patient ratio. So not even one in a thousand in India. And it's a challenge in many other uh, developing countries. The health systems have become more, more less uh, inefficient, less efficient more inefficient, and then the health budgets are all uh, shrinking. So even the Indian health budget is uh, growing, but when it, com when it is compared to the GDP uh, to health ratio, to person ratio, it is shrinking. And then there are health inequities. So, so how to address this? These address so one of the AI, SAMD, or uh, these are the one of the means, not the entire means, but one of the means to address some of these inequities that I have stated. Uh, coming to the point how we regulate uh, SAMD, so we have a definition for drugs, under the drugs, so we, we created a definition, we formulated a definition for a device, so th the device is a large wider definition, so it includes all these, but I am only touching upon that. Uh, software or an accessory intended by its manufacturer to be used in combination with any other device or standalone uh, in human beings and animals. So both. We regulate SAMD both in humans and animals. And what is the purpose? So these are the very key words that we look into whether this particular software as, uh, can be regulated as a medical device or it is beyond our regulation mandate. So the keywords, if you, you see on the screen, the diagnosis. So any device, any software, any AI tool, which is used to diagnose a particular disease or uh, condition, in that case, it becomes a regulated device, SAMD. In such cases, in all the cases of uh, if a device is regulated, whether it is SAMD or otherwise, that need to obtain a manufacturing license from the regulator. And if the license is not obtained, in such a case, it is a, uh, a punishment uh, from three years to five years imprisonment and fine. So that is why any of the developers or care, uh, caregiver, healthcare professionals, so everyone has to take note that whichever uh, uh, software they are using, used in the, uh, used for the purpose of diagnosis or prevention, monitoring. For example, continuous glucose monitors. So even though they don't diagnose, but they monitor the blood glucose levels. 
and based on the uh, fluctuations in the glucose levels, uh, there might be hypoglycemic and uh, uh, hyperglycemic glycemic, and when they are connected to a insulin pump. So it infuses the insulin uh, for uh, euglycemia. Because of that, the entire this, uh, this, this system becomes a medical device. So there's a monitoring, so there's a treatment, and even uh, in case uh, of uh, disease or disorder or in case of injury or disability or in uh, for example if any uh, any solution so for which is used uh, in the in the uh, organ maintenance or uh, that is also treated as a medical device and any instrument or equipment that is used to sustain life for example uh, ventilator so, and also all the disinfectants used for medical devices, these are uh, regulated as devices.